transactions change in accounting equation. This is an example of a sole proprietorship, but I still believe that the example can help you when you are completing transactions for a corporation. It says Calvin Parish is starting Parish Repair Shop, a small service business. Parish Repair Shop uses the accounts shown in the following accounting equation. Use the form below to complete the problem. Notice we have assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. In the corporation, we change that to stockholder's equity, and that would be common stock. The first transaction they did for us, receive cash from owner as an investment, $3,000. Receive cash means our cash increased, and investment is going to increase our capital. So it was written here, plus 3000 on our cash, and plus 3000 on capital. And we add up our balances to make sure everything equals 3000 equals 3000 Transaction number two, pay cash for insurance, $1,600. This transaction involves cash and prepaid insurance. Whenever we pay cash, money comes out of our pocket, so we're going to subtract. And then prepaid insurance, we're buying insurance for usually a year, so that will increase our assets. So we'll mark it here. Oops. Minus 16. 600 and insurance will be plus 1,600. So when we do our balances, 3,000 minus 1,600, 1,400. This is still zero. This is now 1,600, this is 0, 0, and 3,000. Transaction number three. Bought supplies on account from Five Star Supply, $700. Our supplies is going to increase, and on account is going to be accounts payable. The Five Star, that increases. It increases what we owe. So on number three, will be 300 and then our accounts payable is plus 300 sorry it is 700 in it and then when we do our new balances 700, 1,600, 700, 0, 3,000. On transaction number four, bought supplies on account from Riverland Company, $300. Again, it's going to be supplies and accounts payable, only this time we have Riverland Company. Supplies is an asset, it increases. We also owe more money. So we will put it here and here. Sorry, wrong company. Figure out our new balances. This is a thousand now. Number five. Paid cash on account to Five Star Supply, $700. Whenever we pay cash, it subtracts out of our pocket. The same with the business. It's going to take out of the business. So it'll be minus. And then we also owe less money. So that will be a minus. So we'll do cash. And then minus 700 here. And notice how when it's on the opposite sides of the equation, the sign is the same when it's on the same side like here they're going to be different because assets always equal liabilities plus owner's equity or stockholders equity our new balance 700 1000 1600 0 300 and 3000 number six paid cash on account to riverland company 200 dollars 
Pay cash means cash is decreased. Riverland Company, we owe less money. It's two hundred dollars. Got the minus. Figure out our new balances. This would be five hundred, one thousand, sixteen hundred, zero, one hundred, and three thousand. Pay cash for supplies, one hundred dollars. Our accounts are going to be cash and supplies. Cash is going to decrease because we're paying cash. Supplies are going to increase because we have more supplies. We won't use supplies expense. That is going to be an account that we use when we make adjusting entries to adjust for supplies that have, we have used. Right now, anytime we buy supplies, they are assets, and we don't take into account that we use some of them until the end of the fiscal period. So on here, it would be minus 100, and supplies are plus 100. So we have 400, 1,100, 1,600, 0, 100, and 3,000. The last transaction, receive cash from owner as investment, $1,500. The accounts affected would be cash. When we receive cash, it increases and investment increases our capital. And then we'll figure out our new balance. And that is how you would complete transactions when you analyze them. Always make sure you find out what accounts are affected first and then you figure out how they're affected, whether increased or decreased.